Now we have the final impulse presentation of Graham Purdy, who is the CEO of Ilica. Thank you, Simon. Great to be back in Berlin. Many thanks for coming along for this discussion. So just a few slides to cover the Ilica story. Um, we're a company actually that specializes in the development of solid state batteries. That's all that we do. We've got two product lines. On the one hand, we've got our miniature batteries for um, active implantable medical devices. You'll have to go to a different conference to hear about those batteries though. That's not the subject of today. And then our second product line are our Goliath solid state batteries for automotive. So there are many choices for chemistry in solid state. You've already heard about a couple of alternative choices from the previous two speakers. At Ilica, we've selected an oxide electrolyte combined with a silicon anode, and that gives us specific characteristics of the batteries that we'll look at in a moment. So, you know, why bother with solid state batteries? Actually, we've got EVs on the road. We've heard a lot actually from developers of technology for EVs and also from OEMs earlier on today. Who needs different batteries? Who needs solid state? Well, ultimately, there are still some barriers to adoption of EVs. People are worried about range. They're worried about how quickly they can charge them. And there's actually some residual concern uh, about the safety risk of EVs. So solid state can address a lot of these concerns and also contribute to that cost reduction factor, which is absolutely crucial for the industry. Um, our strap line for uh, our Goliath batteries is that we get the performance of NMC with the safety of LFP. So unless you work with battery chemistry, you're probably thinking, I'm speaking gibberish here, but these are two of the key choices that you can make when you're coming up with a new battery chemistry. And effectively, we're trying to have our cake and eat it. So probably the most exciting video that you'll see today, guys. On the left-hand side, <laughs> there's the firework that you get when you put a nail through an NMC battery. And on the right-hand side, this is probably the most boring video that you'll see, is a Goliath battery with a nail going through it. So it doesn't do anything, and this is exactly the result that we want. EVs are intrinsically safe. In fact, there's some great data from the, Swe the Swedish Fire and Rescue Service just a couple of years ago that demonstrate that EVs are 17 times safer in terms of risk of fire than a normal internal combustion engine. But that safety comes at a cost. It comes at a, a cost in terms of the weight of the vehicle with all of the mechanical protection you need to put around it and also because of the thermal management systems that you need to put in place in order to deal with a potential fire risk from an NMC battery. So if you can get rid of that risk, you can take out cost and you can add range to the vehicle. So this is what some of the data looks like, a much lower maximum temperature when you penetrate the cell. We use non-flammable materials. Um, the battery is totally dry when you cut it open, so you haven't got any inflammable liquid that's uh, running out of the battery that could start a fire. Um, and you also get a much lower temperature through the calorimetry testing that you put these cells through. So what? What does that really do when you put it in the context of a vehicle? So the pack designers have looked at this particular cell chemistry, this particular design of cells, and they've demonstrated with a state-of-the-art EV, a, a, a Hyundai Ionic 5, that you can get a 20% reduction in pack weight. You save 2,500 pounds, uh, so 3,000 euros, in terms of uh, the actual bill of materials, and you can reduce that charging time by six minutes, down from 18 minutes to 12. So serious inroads into some of those reasons why people may be hesitating to get their EV. Our scale-up model is a bit different. Um, instead of building gigafactories, we actually work with organizations that know intrinsically how to do that. We've actually licensed our Stereax uh, batteries through to a US company, and those miniature batteries are being manufactured over there. Um, we're actually at pilot scale 
here in Europe and working together with partners like the UK BIC, which is the Battery Industrialization Center in Coventry, and also Agritas, who are building a large gigafactory in the UK. Um, so that's the sister company of Jaguar Land Rover. Um, so we go to a sample, we make the technology available, and then the professionals who know how to build a gigafactory and how to finance it, then implement it at scale in a capital efficient manner. So conclusion, solid state batteries have really got some really compelling safety benefits uh, and other uh, high energy density and power density benefits that can make a difference to consumers of EVs. And actually, if there's anybody in the audience that's part of this story, part of this supply chain that's interested, please come and track me down later on. Be delighted to have a conversation. Thank you, Simon.